yourself enough is enough. Declare these three prayers before you sit down. Say, mountains posting against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter the posting mountains. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer will make somebody here to receive a special attention from heaven. My days of affliction expire in the name of Jesus. Command the days of affliction to expire. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Sisters, if you are here this morning, say amen. amen. Let all the sisters shout this loud and clear. Any power that must die for my breakthroughs to manifest. Can I hear the sister shouting it? Is that the loudest the sisters can say it? Brothers, let me hear you roaring like thunder. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Masapala katandaka. Ribo sapande kaya bo shente rabokoyaba. Jesus name we pray Father we thank you for a time like this accept our thanks in Jesus name Lord we thank you for the mightiness of your name and your power for the efficacy of the blood of Jesus for the power of God in you to deliver to the uttermost accept our thanks in Jesus name this morning open our understanding let there be no one who will be in this service and we go home empty handed thank you heavenly father in Jesus mighty name we pray a louder amen let's have a seat God bless you prophetic curse against your Goliath prophetic curse against your Goliath. The message and prayer of this morning will signify a day of reference for many. <laughs> and many who have been going through terrible battles, uncommon, strange, terrible battles. This morning's message and prayers will usher you into your testimonies. <laughs> and to turn your reproach to testimony. prophetic curse against your Goliath. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, we see a very interesting spiritual scenario playing out. 1 Samuel 17 from verse 41. A scenario played out. Very, very interesting. But if you are not a very spiritual person, you are not a good Bible reader, you will not see the message. No wonder David was one of the greatest warriors who ever lived. Even as a small boy, he understood what was going on. I pray that the Lord will open your understanding in the name of Jesus. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 41. 
This is the story, popular story of David and Goliath. First Samuel 17 from verse 41. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David. And the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, it disdained him. I pray that every power disdaining you shall be put to shame. Yeah. Uh, somebody here, your amen is supposed to roar like thunder. It disdained him, for he was but a youth, and ready and of a fair countenance. So, handsome small boy. And the Philistines said unto David, Am I a dog? That thou comest to me with staves and the Philistine, listen to this, and the Philistine cast David by his God. The Philistine, a child of the devil, understood the power behind demonic curses. True, he had enough power to break David's bones into pieces if they are to go into physical combat. But he knew that he needed power from his gods. So he cursed David by his gods. I prophesy unto your life. Any power cursing you by their gods, by their power, shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. He cursed David by his God. And the Philistines said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and unto the beasts of the field. Notice, David too did not keep quiet. He responded to that curse. He too issued a prophetic curse against the Goliath. I pray that every dark prophecy against your life shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. Every evil dream against your life shall be buried completely yeah. let your email roar like thunder there is somebody here who should shout like thunder then said david to the philistine thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield but i come to thee in the name of the lord of hosts the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Then David now started his own prophetic curse. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee, and take thine head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines these days unto the fowls of the air, and unto the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's and he will give you into our hands. Curse for curse. He issued his own demonic curse. David responded by his own prophetic curse. A prophetic curse. What do we mean by prophecy? Because we're talking about prophetic, prophetic. What is a prophecy? Prophecy is to predict. Prediction. A foretelling. Telling someone or something its future. That's what is called prophecy. Prophecy is history in advance. One third of the Bible is prophecy. Prophecy is news in advance. Prophecy is an invaluable material. That's why the Bible is telling us seek to prophesy, listen to prophecy, read and live by prophecy, believe divine prophecy. Prophecy is winning before you fight. Prophecy is a delayed time bomb spoken into the atmosphere. When you begin to use prophecy in spiritual warfare, is winning before you fight. I see someone here this morning. You will win before you fight. You will win before you fight. You win before you fight. In the name of Jesus. That's why when Ezekiel found himself in the valley of dry bones. And the Lord said, Ezekiel, what are these? Dry bones. He said, command them to live. 
I said, oh Lord, no. I can, I, only you can do it. So can you professor? Professor out of the bones, but they might live. And it began to professor. And the bones began to live. Prophecy can open up hard hearts. Prophecy in the Bible has made waters to part. Prophecy in the Bible has hardened water so that man can walk on water. Prophecy has brought dead, dry bones to life. It was prophecy that hung the Savior on the cross. It was prophecy that lifted him up to the heavens. It is prophecy that will surely bring him back again. Prophecy. When it is in your mouth, it is a vehicle in the hands of God to express his word and power. Prophecy can affect anything in the spiritual realm and anything in the physical realm. So many situations that have defied prayers all the years may just be waiting for a prophetic word that will change the situation. The solution most times to dead situations is to open your mouth wide in prophecy. And when you begin that prophecy, people will look at you as a madman. That is not possible. That's why you find people in the Bible prophesying to wind, prophesying to altars, prophesying to the heavenlies. God has given man dominion over his creation. And that dominion is through your mouth. That's why a closed mouth is a closed destiny. God has positioned us above the enemy. He has put all things under our control. But if we keep quiet and do not speak, the situation remains controversial or confrontational to you. When prophecy is released, it's like God himself has spoken. So when you begin to pray by the spirit of prophecy, when you begin to tell a situation its future, when you begin to pray to win before the war, like David, when you begin to pray under the intoxication of the Holy Spirit, when you begin to release words in prayer that the Holy Ghost has put in your spirit, then you are using a very powerful weapon indeed. Goliath was facing the children of Israel. Goliath ridiculed the Israelites for 40 days. He was coming morning, evening, morning, evening. He had, had, he had come 80 times. So choose a man for yourself that he may fight me. If I defeat him, you are all gone. If he defeats me, the Philistines are all gone. It was when he was making journey number 81 that David arrived at the war front. Some time ago when I was invited to one university to minister, plenty of professors at the meeting and I was telling them, I said, look, you are calling yourself a professor because there is no Goliath. When Goliath arrives at the lecture room or in your bedroom, we will know who the professors are. Just like the army of Israel, they continue to gather and shout war cries and begin to shout left, right, oh, oi, where, where, left, right, about turn, this means they began to shout all those things, but God's presence had been withdrawn. Saul was a tall king, but he was not tall enough to go against Goliath. They were all calling themselves soldiers, but nobody could confront Goliath until the proper soldier, the professor, David, now arrived at the war front. Parading yourself in nice military uniform was easy. Shouting military language was easy, but defeating Goliath was a serious problem. It's easy to dress yourself up, put light chain on your neck, hang dangling umbrella on your ears, and paint the whole of your body. But it's another problem when you have to face Goliath. You finally discover that the lipstick and the makeup cannot fight Goliath. All those panabitin and spraying can make somebody say, Oh, what a beautiful lady. But when Goliath appears, we will know who the beautiful ladies are. You will forget the lipstick and throw it into the lagoon. So many people like that. Goliath is an agent of ridicule. That's why I'm prophesying to the life of somebody here this morning that every power assigned to ridicule you. I command them to die. In the name of Jesus. 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 David understood who he was. David went against Goliath. David countered his curses with the curse 
of God. He pronounced the curse of God against Goliath. What is Goliath? Goliath means giant problems. What is Goliath? Goliath means boasting problems. What is Goliath? Goliath means persistent problems. What is Goliath? Goliath represents problems that instill fear into the mind. What is Goliath? Goliath is the well trained enemies. Well trained enemies. You know, Saul said to David, Sit thou art but a youth. But this man has been a man of war from his youth. Saul told David, The man is well trained. Well trained enemies. I had a friend managing the director of a company. He was to travel somewhere. Somebody just removed sand from under the tire of his vehicle and spoke to the sand and put the sand back on the tire. My friend said as they were traveling to where he was going. So the driver said, Oga, Oga, this road has divided into two. Which one should I take? How can the expressway that you see going to press city divide into two to where again? Say this road, or got this road has just divided into two. Which one should I take? The man was reading newspapers when the driver said it. He told me that when he lifted up his head, he found that the expressway had become two. So I got which one? Which one now? And I said, turn to the right, turn to the right. He told the driver. By the time the driver turned to the right, they had tumbled into the bush. Well trained enemy. I pray. And any well trained enemy assigned against you shall expire. It shall expire. They 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 shall expire. In the name of Jesus. What is Goliath? Goliath is the cursing enemies. Vision curses against you. Vision curses against Goliath. What is Goliath? Goliath represents threatening enemies. Threatening you. What's Goliath? Goliath represents confident enemies. Confident. Confident. Something is giving them confidence. Is that that woman told a sister who started coming here, look, when you were born, I was there. I was the one they gave your placenta to that I should go and bury it. So, but I did not bury it. I cooked it and I ate it. So, I'm inside you. You are inside me. You will do what I say you should do. Do you understand? The sister said, no, in Jesus' name. But what gave her that confidence is because of what she had eaten. Any confident enemy that is against you shall be disgraced. 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 In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Something is happening to somebody over there. That's right. What's Goliath? Goliath is the armored enemy. Armored enemy. What's Goliath? Goliath is the unrepentant and stubborn strong man. Unrepentant and stubborn strong man. What is Goliath? Goliath is a loud enemy. Loud enemy. Enemy that is making noise. I will show you who I am. I will do this, I will do that. I will do this, I will do that. The loud enemy. In the place where I worked before, our messenger offended one man and the man was shouting dead to him. So you don't know about me. The last person that fought me here, I commanded him and he started biting wood. The last person that fought me again, I commanded that one. He began to eat his own feces. So you, what I'm going to do to you, you will see. When that one had his credentials, he ran back to me in the office. I said, Dr. Luka, Dr. Luka, that man is threatening me. Look at what he has said. I said, go out and face him. He said, ah, I can't, but I can't face him. I said, but you go to church now and you call yourself a deacon. Go and use the deacon power to go and face him. No. Ran back, couldn't face him. That's a loud enemy. 
every loud enemy assigned against you shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. I was on my way to my school, Methodist bus high school, many years ago. And I took a bus to school. The bus was going through CMS. I don't know what went wrong between one man in the bus and the conductor. And the man said, I will discipline you when we get to CMS. When they, <laughs> when, when they got to CMS, he just put his hand in his pocket, brought out a horse whip, and used it to whip the conductor. Nobody was sleeping. We were all there. All of a sudden, the first thing I noticed was that the, the trouser of the conductor started getting wet. He now began to urinate in his own body. And the man said, that is how you will urinate to death. <sighs> People begged him, please, please, don't do this. Don't do this. But there was a man who was preaching in that bus before we got there. And I said, pastor, 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 you that were preaching just now. Look at what has happened. What are you going to do? So the brother came. I said, sir, uh, don't, don't destroy his life. I'm sure you can reverse this. I said, reverse what? Who are you, by the way? Brother, they all sweep again. Fear on the body of the brother who was preaching just now. The brother then said, it is written. Touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. So right now, that hand you used, I command it to wither. Ah. It was a sin. Same as bus stop. The man lost the use of two hands instantly. Now, there is a problem. This one has lost two hands. This one is urinating in the cell. And the brother took his Bible and was about to walk away. And the driver of the bus now started begging, please. Please, sir. Please, you can do something. Sir, I can't, I can't do anything. So you can do something. You can do something. So the brother had to go back again. I started praying for them. I didn't know what happened because I was already <laughs> going late for school. Whether there was a solution or not. But then, the authority the Lord has given to the believer is an unbelievable authority which we rarely use. There's a woman in this church. She bought a land and she traveled abroad and was building there. All of a sudden, she came home on holidays. And somebody told us some people are already building on the land. So she went there and found that some people were busy working there, protected by soldiers. So the madam said, Hello! Excuse me. Are you the leader of these soldiers? Yeah. So now listen. Say, so this land belongs to me. So you have no right to build on it. Now, I give you 24 hours to clear away from this land. If not, whatever happens, you have yourself to blame. The, the soldier looked at her and said, Who is this arrogant madam? You are talking to me like that? Blah, 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 blah. Okay? If, if you come back here again, you will die here. The man said, really? Okay, she just put her hand in her handbag, brought out a bottle of anointing oil, emptied just one bottle on that land, and went home. By the next morning, everybody who stepped on that land could not walk again, including the soldier. When she came the next day, nobody was there. Then the person who sent them now died in addition. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. Every power that is touching you for evil, they shall be dismantled this morning. <laughs> Let your amen be loud and clear. Who is Goliath? Goliath is the enemy with fearful credentials. Who is Goliath? Goliath is the mocking enemy. Who is Goliath? Goliath is the proud enemy. The evil molester is a terrifying strong man. You need just one ingredient here this morning. The ingredient is holy anger. Holy anger. Jesus taught us so many things when he was alive. When he was alive here on earth. No wonder Jesus spoke to fever. He spoke to deafness. He spoke to leprosy. He spoke to blindness. He spoke to storms. He spoke to dead Lazarus. He spoke to sicknesses. He spoke to trees. In Mark 11 from verse 12. Mark 11 from verse 12. Mark 11 from verse 12. 
And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came, if aptly he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. The time of the fig was not yet. And Jesus answered and said to it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples had it. Verse 20. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter calling to remember said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou causes is withered away. And Jesus answering said unto him, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. I want you to understand certain factors here this morning. Cursing and blessing is central to the person of God himself. The God of Old and New Testament curses. And when he curses, is with disastrous consequences. At the same time, the God of Old and New Testament blesses people. When he blesses, is with delightful consequences. The great heroes and the prophets of the Old Testament, they were very effective cursers, very effective blessers. When they curse a person, that thing stays cursed. When they bless a person, the, the person stays blessed. Or have you read what God said about Abraham? Say, Abraham, whosoever cursed you is cursed. Jesus and his apostles, they follow the same pattern. The Bible doesn't want Christians to be swearing. No, we don't swear. But curses and blessings are effective weapons that ancient saints have been using and God also used. They spoke to Elijah, man of God, come down. If I be a man of God, let fire come down. Fire came down, the people were roasted. After Elisha had received the double portion of power, some boys came out and they were mocking him. The Bible says Elisha cursed them and they were eaten up by bears. So these men of God in scripture, they pronounced their curse with disastrous effect. David himself pronounced terrible curses on the enemy. Let's see some of them. Look at Psalm 69. Psalm 69 verse 22. David pronounced some terrible curses on the enemy. Psalm 69 verse 22. It says this. Let their table become a snare before them and that which shall have been for their welfare let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened that they see not and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out their indignation upon them and let their wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate and let none dwell in their tent. Terrible curses David was usually I decree that the curses here shall be the lot of your enemies. In the name of Jesus. What we are saying is this. You can pronounce the curse of God on your Goliath. Pronounce the curse of God on the Goliath. With the authority that God has given to you. You can curse. You can kill the root of any sickness. Any unprofitable tree. Anything you don't like in your life, you can pronounce the curse of God upon it. Jesus said things like, be rooted up, dry to the roots, be cast into the sea, be removed from this place. Those are actually curses. With our authority, you can curse and kill the root of any problem. You may curse the root of a sickness and you may find that maybe you are, you, are, you, are, you are not feeling better immediately. It's because that death that has spoken into the root is yet to reach the branches. That root will die and the death will now spread through the evil tree. I know there is somebody here today. You will curse any evil tree growing in your life. And the tree shall dry to the roots. So, the destiny of unprofitable trees is for you to cast it to wither from the roots. That is what we mean by prophetic curse. You speak prophetic curse against satanic establishments. You speak prophetic curse against satanic citadels. 
You speak prophetic curse against planted sicknesses. You seek prophetic curse against planted sorrow. You can speak prophetic curse upon the huge debt that you are owing. You can speak prophetic curse against poverty. You can speak prophetic curse against occultic arrows. You can speak prophetic curse against profitless hard work. You can speak prophetic curse against dream manipulation. You can speak prophetic curse against satanic poison in the body. You can speak prophetic curse against any Goliath cursing your life. And that's what we're here for this morning. If you are afraid, you may go home. This is mountain of fire and miracles ministry. It's not mountain of ice water and entertainment. No. It's not mountain of dancing and disco. No, 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 no. If you are looking for disco churches, there are plenty you can go to. No problem. But we're here for serious business. And let me tell you one secret. Even all the churches that are not praying now, they are soon going to start praying. Who want to make them pray has arrived. Those who are not praying before, they are praying now. So make up your mind that today I must curse the root of anything troubling my destiny. When you speak words of destruction, you call woe onto your mountain. It's a prophetic curse. I don't know which Goliath is facing you. Maybe they have denied you your rightful position, pursuing you all over the place. As somebody always challenge you, always against your life. You to issue prophetic curses this morning against those things. Some people come to Mountain of Fire, they don't understand our prayers. They are in that place. They are always issuing curses. They are always issuing curses. They are always issuing curses. A prophetic curse is allowed. That's why I went through those scriptures with you here now. And I want you to understand it very, very well. Our elders, they say, if something is good, it needs prayers. If something is bad, it needs prayers. There's some people say, ah, those who are going to mountain of fire are all those people who are having problems. Ah. They have worse problems, but they have not discovered it yet. Even if you are prospering, in this satanic environment, you need prayer to sustain it. If you are not doing well, you need prayer to do well. If you are average, you need prayer to move to the top. If you are at the top, you need prayer to become excellent. This is why we are here today. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now. By raising up your right hand where you are. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. To say that short prayer with me, please don't run home. Immediately we close, just find a way to the altar here. Now, perhaps you have been coming to our services. Eh, this is how we pray here. Ha, no, don't take today's prayer like that. Too. Pray today's prayer. Let your body, your soul, your spirit know that you are praying. If you know that your, your delicate and elegant headgear will disturb you, I recommend you temporarily dismantle it and put it on your chair so that you can concentrate on the prayers. If you are here to protect your perfume, you are in the wrong place. When there is war, it's a serious business. You may see soldiers moving about on the street. Do you know that at war front, when war is going on, soldiers urinate in their trousers. They defecate in their body. War is a serious matter. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. house in my place of birth cooking my destiny can I hear you shouting this like thunder catch fire in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to pray aha today is today this is not a day to negotiate. Basapondeke yabo shentera bokonta. The real pale katana. Yes, yes. 
Today is the day. Yes. Don't negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Something is happening here. Something has happened in so many places. That's right. That's right. We used to sing a song here. We say, He made impossibility possible. He made impossibility. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Rohi. He did impossibility. Now with fire in your voice. Say, Goliath! Speaking impossibility into my life. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't be afraid. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. That person here, you lost a very good opportunity but the Lord said as a result of your prayer here today a new one and a better one will come your way that's right I say man over there God said he will have exalted you to a high position but you refuse to correct your marriage please go and do marriage correction so that God can install you into this high position that sister over there you did not know but you were unconsciously installed in the demonic world as a queen right there where you are that crown of darkness upon your head and the ring of the spirit husband upon your fingers they are catching fire now in the name of jesus it's happening I have a message for three persons. The Lord said before this week runs out, it will rearrange you into dumbfounded financial blessings. Thank you, Jesus. That man turned upside down by two dead women. You have been released now. Thank you, Jesus. Another person over there. The destruction of your destiny energized by polygamous witchcraft. Is being reversed right now. With violence and with fire. Occultic agent. Chanting my name for evil. <laughs> Somebody needs to pray this one. Seriously. Can I hear everybody shouting this loud? I can In the name of Jesus. They must scatter. Aha, aha, aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus name we pray silence the chain 
binding the womb. The chain binding the breast. The chain binding the head. Break. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Let me silence. Things are still happening here. Plenty of things. And we're just warming up in this prayer. Because we're still moving towards a place. Somebody said you never knew both parents. They were killed by the wicked. Those powers that killed them. They have, they've been trying to pursue you too. But I have an information for you. That they are all dead. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The God of new beginnings is working on so many lives now. That's right. Aha. You, that person over there, at your own dead father has been harassing you in your dream. Be set free now in the name of Jesus. And that person headed for the embassy this week. The strong man that has been binding your legs has been shaken out of your way. <laughs> Many things are happening here. Now we're ready. The angel to carry this assignment out has just arrived. Now with a voice roaring like thunder, you will now shout this loud and clear. Evil trees in my life. Hear the word of the Lord. Dry up. Die. Dry up. Die. Evil tree in my life. Hear the word of the Lord. Dry up. Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Aha, aha, aha. Cause it to die. In Jesus' name we pray. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Aha. Now, I want you to be specific. Whatever you want to kill in your own life. Whatever Goliath has been harassing your life. Maybe it's backwardness. Pregnancy. Spiritual powerlessness. It's time to speak death into that Goliath now. You will now say this loud and clear. Goliath of whatever you want to put inside. I curse you to die. You know, maybe marital problem. Maybe financial trouble. Maybe poverty. Maybe stagnancy. Maybe failure. Goliath of failure. I curse you to die. 
In the name of Jesus. Pray specific prayer now. Basepe la kaya boko shentera bakara bosanda. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Aha! Something is happening here. name we pray wow glory be to the name of the Lord right there where you are with the loudest voice you can gather can you just pick any song of praises and sing it loud and clear to the king of kings and to the Lord of Lord any song of praises Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be glory and all. No, I'm praying. Is a glory and all to Jesus. Let there be glory, let there be all glory and all to let there be glory. Sing it loud and clear, glory and to Jesus. Let there be glory, let there be honor. Oh, yeah, my, 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 my,
Everything turning around, turning around, turning around for my. Oh, I can see everything. Turn, sing it loud and clear. See everything turning around for my face. Oh, I can see everything turn, turning around, turning around, turning around for my face. Oh, I can see everything. See everything. See everything turning around for my face. Oh, I can see everything turning around, turning around, turning around for my. Oh, oh, I can see everything. Oh, see everything. Oh, see everything turning around for my face. Oh, I can see everything. See everything. See everything turning around. One more time, one more time. I, I can see everything turning around, turning around, turning around, turning around for my face. Shout hallelujah! Seven prayers before you go, and you have just one or two minutes to pray them. But pray this one with fire and with power. Speak into the womb of this month. Speak into the womb of this year. Pray the way the psalmist told us. He said, open wide your mouth. And just pray big prayers, giant prayers, unbelievable prayers. Say this loud and clear. Goliath power! Press it down my head. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to be praised down. Masataka Riboko Likatanda Sandayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh-huh. That's good. The Bible says a light and shine. Say Goliath power. Slowing down my progress. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, don't be afraid. In Jesus' name we pray. There are three sisters here. The Lord said there are Goliaths in your place of birth that have collected your dowry in the spirit realm. Before next Sunday, they shall be dead. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear. Goliath power! Mocking my prayers. Jesus. That's right. Masekaya Boshendera Bokonta. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Is that the loudest who can shout it? Make me great! In the name of Jesus! Masekaya bo shendera bakantara bo sanda In Jesus name we pray Goliath in my dreams 
Jesus that's right in Jesus then we pray oh God I remember me for good in the name of Jesus let him open the book of remembrance. In Jesus' name we pray. The last one. Elijah asked Elisha, What do you want me to do for you? Say, My father, let me receive a double portion of your power. Ah, say, Thou hast asked for a hard thing. The man who called down fire. Who raised the dead is now saying somebody has asked for a hard thing. Say, but however, you can see me when I'm being taken away from you, it shall be so. Say, but if you don't see me, it shall not be so. <laughs> God is still in the business of doing hard things. This is the final prayer I wanted to pray here today and go with that anointing into this week. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? For me in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray a louder amen as you have decreed in your mouth today it is so in the name of Jesus the God that answered it by fire has answered you by fire we thank you for your people who have gathered at this particular program the great physician hour father thank you because you are the great physician your power is the absolute power father as many people as have joined to this program now meet them at the point of their needs in the name of jesus let every yoke of stubborn oppression be broken in the name of jesus your word says oppression shall be far away from us let every yoke of oppression be broken. Let every yoke of oppression be broken. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every handwriting of the wicked, we wipe you off by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every handwriting of infirmity be wiped off by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every handwriting of migraine be wiped off by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every handwriting of high blood pressure be wiped off by the power in the blood of Jesus, every handwriting of goita be wiped off. By the power in the blood of Jesus, every handwriting of sleeplessness be wiped off. By the power in the blood of Jesus, every handwriting of pain in any part of the body be wiped off. By the power in the blood of Jesus, right there where you are, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, I decree that the electric current of God, electric fire of God, will begin to flow through your body, soul, and spirit. And anywhere that is a stranger in your body, let the power of God knock out that stranger. Knock out the strangers. 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 In the name of Jesus, a sevenfold amen. 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 And anything you have eaten or swallowed, anything that has found its way into your body system that is working against you now. I command them to depart from their hiding place. For it is written that the strangers are fed away. And they shall be afraid out of their hiding place. Get out of your 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 hiding place. In the name of Jesus, every tree the Father has not planted in the life of anyone be uprooted. 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost be uprooted by the fire of the Holy Ghost be uprooted by the fire of the Holy Ghost be uprooted by the fire of the Holy Ghost be uprooted by the fire of the Holy Ghost every part that has been pursuing you in the dream planting infirmity into your body every witchcraft sponsored infirmity I cancel you now and I wipe you off by the power in the blood of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus Makaponda as many as are on this line right now and eat us of flesh and drink us of blood that pursue your life I cut off any covenant you have with them in the name of Jesus and I decree that they must release you now in the name of Jesus be released from the hands of the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood be released from the hands of the drinkers of blood and eaters of flesh be released 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 in the name of jesus another sevenfold amen 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 father let your glory overshadow your children lay your hands upon their lives in jesus mighty name we pray Amen. 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 We are reading from the book of Luke. Luke chapter 8 from verse 43. Virtue is gone out of me. And a woman having an issue of blood, 12 years, which has spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any of them, came behind him, came behind Jesus, and touched the border of his garment. And immediately an issue of blood stopped. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee. And says, Thou who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody had touched me. For I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him. And now she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace. Verse 46 again. Somebody had touched me. For I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. Somebody had touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. This woman had 12 years of issue of blood. She was hemorrhaging from female organs. Because of her constant bleeding, she was considered unclean. Her husband could not move close to her, because to touch her was to make oneself unclean. To be unclean was to not be able to go to places where they worship God. You will have to offer sacrifices to be cleansed of the uncleanness. Can you imagine the shame? She's considered unclean. She's labeled. Everybody must stay away. Everybody must avoid her. Everybody must dissociate from her. Everyone must have nothing to do with her. This is a very, very sad situation. Her body was weak. But somehow, she was able to press into the crowd and touch Jesus. This shows that this was a woman of faith who believed that once I touch his garment, I shall be made whole. That gives us information about one of our popular songs. I have touched the hem of his garment. I have touched the hem of his garment. I have touched the hem of his garment. Jesus made me whole. Hallelujah. I have touched the hem of his garment. I have touched the hem of his garment. I have touched the hem of his garment. Jesus made me whole. Hallelujah. I have touched the hem of his garment. I have touched the hem of his garment. I have touched the hem of his garment. Jesus made me whole. Her body was weak, 
But somehow she was able to get there and touch Jesus. Immediately she gained strength. Immediately the bleeding stopped. I see somebody connecting to this program tonight. Immediately you start praying. Every long-term problem shall be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. Immediately you start to pray now. You will touch Jesus in the spirit realm and every touch of evil shall disappear in the name of Jesus. Many people press against him, but seldom really touched him. The Bible says Jesus is touched by the feeling of our infirmities. Jesus now says something, virtue is gone out of me. Another way of saying it is I know that power is gone out of me. Virtue means strength. Virtue means power. Virtue means divine deposit. Virtue means purity. Jesus meant that power had gone out of him. Virtue cannot leave one and pass another without a loss of the giver. So Jesus knew that something went out without permission in court. The body of Jesus lost something for being the middle of healing. Virtue went out of those who failed to get help elsewhere. A woman who could not get help somewhere else. Virtue goes out of those ones who want to overcome great difficulties. As I'm speaking now, virtue is going out to one who has faith to be made whole. Many people tried to touch Jesus while he was on earth, and they were touching him for various reasons. Some were touching Jesus just to be able to get home and tell others that I touched him. Some touched Jesus to feel the material of his clothing. To some, it was a mistaken touch. But some touched Jesus deliberately and intentionally. This woman touched Jesus. The touch of the woman can be said to have ten things. It was not an ordinary touch. A touch that had ten things in it. One, her touch had desperation. Will you be desperate enough to cry unto the Lord today? Two, her touch had determination. Are you determined to get rid of the oppression today? Three, her touch had faith. Do you have faith to be made whole today? Four, a touch had expectation. Do you have expectation to receive today? Five, a touch had knowledge. Knowledge that she could be healed through that medium. Six, a touch had violence. She pressed through the crowd to do it. Seven, a touch had hope. Eight, a touch had courage. Nine, a touch had desire. And ten, a touch had hunger. The word touch there can actually be translated to mean to fasten oneself to, to get a death grip on something. It implies grabbing hold without the intention of ever letting go. Just like that widow in Luke chapter 18 who kept harassing the judge, avenge me of my adversaries, avenge me of my adversaries, avenge me of my adversaries, avenge me of my adversaries. What happened to that woman? She placed a demand on the anointing and the anointing crossed over to her to solve her problems. What is the anointing? The anointing is the body removing and yoke breaking power of God. The anointing is the performing hands of God. The anointing is divine energy. The anointing is divine energizer. The anointing is divine force, divine push, divine power. The anointing is the fountain of supernatural power. The anointing is divine enablement. The anointing is the reign of God's power. The anointing is the visitation of God in a strong and mysterious way. The anointing is divine electric force. The anointing is God's extra touch upon your life. Will you emulate this woman by using this program as a point of contact to touch Jesus tonight? You can touch Jesus to receive peace, to receive wisdom, to receive direction, to receive favor, to receive healing, to receive protection, to receive business exploits, to receive collection of family life, to receive prosperity, to receive happiness, to receive power, to receive promotion, to receive deliverance. Touch him tonight. As you start praying prayers that touch the master, you may feel the electric current of the power of God flowing through you. Parts of your body may begin to shake. That could be heat passing through your body. There could be facial radiance. Or you could even feel nothing. You could feel the vibrating power of God all over your body as you touch him today. You have a big opportunity to touch Jesus in this program. 
God bless you in Jesus' name. In case you have joined this program and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, do so very quickly now by saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you say that prayer with me, I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children who have surrendered their lives to you in this program. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon them. Minister life and power unto their souls. Let this decision be permanent in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. It is time now to pray the prayer that will make you touch the master. I need to touch you by his power and by his strength. Say this loud and clear. Say, I break the power of witchcraft alliances against my life in the name of Jesus. I break the power of witchcraft alliances against my mind in the name of Jesus. I break the power of witchcraft alliances against my mind in the name of Jesus. I break the power of witchcraft alliances against my mind in the name of Jesus. I break the power of witchcraft alliances against my mind in the name of Jesus. I break the power of witchcraft alliances against my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to shout it tenfold and add in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Answer your name in my life. Can you shout it tenfold and add the name of Jesus? Oh God, arise. Answer your name in my life. Oh God, arise. Answer your name in my life. Oh God, arise. Answer your name in my life. Oh God, arise. Answer your name in my life. Oh God, arise. Answer your name in my life. Oh God, arise. Answer your name in my life. Oh God, arise. Answer your name in my life. Oh God, arise. Answer your name in my life. Oh God, arise. Answer your name in my life. Oh God, arise. Answer your name in my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. Shout this again loud and clear. Virtue, come out of the Lord Jesus Christ and fall upon me. In the name of Jesus. Virtue, come out of the Lord Jesus Christ and fall upon me. In the name of Jesus. Virtue, come out of the Lord Jesus Christ and fall upon me. In the name of Jesus. Virtue, come out of the Lord Jesus Christ and fall upon me. And fall upon me. And fall upon me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, altars of infirmity in my body. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Altar of infirmity in my body. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Altar of infirmity in my body. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Altar of infirmity in my body. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Altar of infirmity in my body. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Altar of infirmity in my body. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Altar of infirmity in my body. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Altar of infirmity in my body. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Altar of infirmity in my body. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Altar of infirmity in my body. Dry up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say every strange power behind my reproach. Die in the name of Jesus. Every strange power behind my reproach. Die in the name of Jesus. Every strange power behind my reproach. Die in the name of Jesus. Every strange power behind my reproach. Die in the name of Jesus. Every strange power behind my reproach. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every spirit assigned to pull me down and oppress me. I'm not your candidate. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every spirit assigned to pull me down and oppress me. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit assigned to pull me down and oppress me. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every conspiracy against me behind dark doors. Collapse and fall in the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy against me behind dark doors. Collapse and fall in the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy against me behind dark doors. Collapse and fall in the name of Jesus. Collapse and fall in the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so any negative confession or evil decree made against me, I command you to disappear in the name of Jesus. Any negative confession or evil decree made against me, I command you to disappear in the name of Jesus. Any negative confession or evil decree made against me, I command you to disappear in the name of Jesus. Every negative confession or evil decree made against me, I command you to disappear in the name of Jesus. I command you to disappear in the name of Jesus. I command you to disappear in the name of Jesus. I command you to disappear in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every demonic gateway into my life be closed by fire. In the name of Jesus, every demonic gateway into my life be closed by fire. Be closed by fire in the name of Jesus. Be closed by fire. Be closed by fire in the name of Jesus. Be closed by fire in the name of Jesus. Be closed by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every arrow the enemy is sending against my moving forward. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow the enemy is sending against my moving forward. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow the enemy is sending against my moving forward. Backfire in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I walk in divine release and sweetness of joy. In the name of Jesus, I walk in divine release and sweetness of joy. In the name of Jesus, I walk in divine release and sweetness of joy. In the name of Jesus, I walk in divine release and sweetness of joy. In the name of Jesus, I walk in divine release and sweetness of joy. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this sevenfold and add in Jesus' name at the end. I take off every garment of heaviness. And I put on the garment of praise. Say it sevenfold and then add amen. I take off every garment of heaviness. And I put on the garment of praise. I take off every garment of heaviness. And I put on the garment of praise. I take off every garment of heaviness. And I put on the garment of praise. I take off every garment of heaviness. And I put on the garment of praise. I take off every garment of heaviness. And I put on the garment of praise. I take off every garment of heaviness. And I put on the garment of praise. I take off every garment of heaviness. And I put on the garment of praise. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, so I take authority over every spirit of mental infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every spirit of mental infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every spirit of mental infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every spirit of mental infirmity. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I take authority over every spirit of depression and rejection in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every spirit of depression and rejection. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every spirit of depression and rejection. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every spirit of rejection and depression. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The next prayer point, we need to pray it aggressively three times. Very aggressively. Make sure you pray like a man or woman from another world. Immediately you finish praying the third prayers. The power of God will fall upon you where you are. Can you say, I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Open your mouth and pray the second time. I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number three, open your mouth and pray. I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs. 
In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit that attacks internal body organs. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Makaponda likayabo shenderaba. Right there where you are. Any bewitchment of any internal body organ. Any harassment of any internal body organ. Any power punishing your internal organ. Any power of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood assigned against internal organs. I command them to depart in the name of Jesus. I command those powers to lose their old. Lose their old. Lose their old. Lose, to lose their old. To lose their old. To lose their old. To lose their old. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, oh great physician, Jesus Christ, have your final say in my health. In the name of Jesus, oh great physician, Jesus Christ, have the final say in my health. In the name of Jesus, oh great physician, Jesus Christ, have the final say in my health. In the name of Jesus, oh great physician, Jesus Christ, have the final say in my health. In the name of Jesus, have the final say in my health. In the name of Jesus, have the final say in my health. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I decree and declare that I shall believe the report of the Lord, not any clinical prophecy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that I shall believe the report of the Lord and not any clinical prophecy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare and I shall believe the report of the Lord, and not any clinical prophecy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, and I shall believe the report of the Lord, and not any clinical prophecy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, and I shall believe the report of the Lord, and not any clinical prophecy. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this loud and clear. I confess that I am redeemed from the curse of the Lord which include sicknesses and diseases. In the name of Jesus, I confess that I am redeemed from the curse of the Lord, which includes sicknesses and diseases. In the name of Jesus, I confess that I am redeemed from the curse of the Lord, which includes sicknesses and diseases. In the name of Jesus, I confess that I am redeemed from the curse of the Lord, which includes sicknesses and diseases. In the name of Jesus, I confess that I am redeemed from the curse of the Lord, which includes sicknesses and diseases. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. I tear down the high places of the enemy mounted against my health. In the name of Jesus, I tear down the high places of the enemy mounted against my health. In the name of Jesus, I tear down the high places of the enemy mounted against my health. In the name of Jesus, I tear down the high places of the enemy Mounted against my health. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, O oh God, arise. And deliver me from any addiction to medicine, hospitals, and doctors. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and deliver me from any addiction to medicine, hospitals, and doctors. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and deliver me from any addiction to medicine, hospitals, and doctors. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O oh God, arise. Let your holy angels surround me every day of my life in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise. Let your holy angels surround me every day of my life in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and let your holy angels surround me every day of my life in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and let your holy angels surround me every day of my life in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and let your holy angels surround me every day of my life in the name of Jesus. Let them surround me every day of my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. In the name of Jesus, I cancel the effect of every spirit of self-destructive diseases. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I cancel the effect of the spirit of self-destructive diseases. In the name of Jesus, I cancel the effect of the spirit of self-destructive diseases. In the name of Jesus, I cancel the effect of the spirit of self-destructive diseases. 
in the name of Jesus. I cancel the effect of the spirit of self-destructive diseases. In the name of Jesus, I cancel the effect of the spirit of self-destructive diseases. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so angels of God, take vengeance on the ungodly. Alliance have fight for me in the name of Jesus. Angels of God that take vengeance on the ungodly. Arise and fight for me in the name of Jesus. Angels of God that take vengeance on the ungodly. Arise and fight for me in the name of Jesus. Angels of God that take vengeance on the ungodly. Arise and fight for me in the name of Jesus. Arise and fight for me in the name of Jesus. Arise and fight for me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you say this loud and clear? In all my ways, O God, give me fresh anointing daily in the name of Jesus. In all my ways, O Lord, give me fresh anointing daily in the name of Jesus. In all my ways, O Lord, give me fresh anointing daily in the name of Jesus. In all my ways, O Lord, give me fresh anointing daily in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, O oh, Father, equip me to destroy dark second heaven activities in the name of Jesus. Father, equip me to destroy dark second heaven activities in the name of Jesus. Father, equip me to destroy dark second heaven activities in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, power, sir. Assigned to penetrate and tear down my prayer edge. I bind you now in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to penetrate and tear down my prayer edge. I bind you now in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to penetrate and tear down my prayer edge. I bind you now in the name of Jesus. I bind you now in the name of Jesus. I bind you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Read this after me loud and clear. If thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord our God, and we do that which is right in his sight, and we give ear to his commandments, and keep all his status. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which are brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healed thee. Say it loud and clear, for I am the Lord that healed thee. For I am the Lord that healed thee. In Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15, as this to say, And the Lord will take away from thee all sicknesses, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou dwellest upon thee, but will put them upon all them that ate thee. These are promises of Jehovah. Psalm 103, from verse 1 to 3, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, and who healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, and who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 says, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord. Because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, and we have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And in verse 4, surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. And in Mark chapter 16, from verse 17 to 18, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and when they drink any deadly thing, they shall not hurt them, they shall lay their hands on the sick, and they shall recover. They shall lay their hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Therefore, raise up your right hand to the heavenlies now. Father, I thank you for these hands that are raised to the heavenlies. Let your power of healing, your power of deliverance fall upon this hand. 
Let this hand become the hand of healing, the hand of breakthrough, the hand of power. By smiting with this hand, let every sickness disappear. Let every disease go back to the sender. Let the power of God overshadow these hands, Lord, to destroy every plantation of the enemy. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 If you have any sickness in any part of your body, this is the time to smite it. And as I am smiting it, you'll be shouting, Lord, heal me and I shall be healed. And you need to shout it 40 times as I am smiting it. Let's go. Lord, heal me and I shall be healed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Check your body now, beloved. Put your faith into action. Begin to do what you could not do before. Believe God for his hand upon you. Believe God for his power upon you. Father, I'm praying for your people who have just finished these prayers. Makaponda likaya boshende raba. Ribosoponde keya. Wherever the enemy has stolen from you. Repossess your possession from the enemy now. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God, the glory of God, the fire of God overshadow your life where you are. Let every yoke of the enemy be broken to pieces. Receive the touch of the power of God. Receive the touch of the glory of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this prayer loud and clear now. Say, blood of Jesus. Destroy every demonic document inside my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Destroy every demonic document inside my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Destroy every demonic document inside my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Destroy every demonic document inside my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, destroy any demonic document inside my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, destroy any demonic document inside my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, destroy any demonic document inside my blood. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, blood of Jesus. Terminate every satanic oppression in my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, terminate every satanic oppression in my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, terminate every satanic oppression in my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, terminate every satanic oppression in my blood. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, terminate every satanic oppression in my blood. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, blood of Jesus, render my blood unapproachable by any infirmity. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, render my blood unapproachable by any infirmity. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, render my blood unapproachable by any infirmity. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, render my blood unapproachable by any infirmity. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, render my blood unapproachable by any infirmity. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Lord, teach my answer war. For you are a man of war, and in you there is no defeat. In the name of Jesus, Lord, teach my answer war. For you are a man of war, and in you there is no defeat. In the name of Jesus, 
Lord, teach my hands to war, for you are a man of war, and in you there is no defeat. In the name of Jesus, Lord, teach my hands to war, for you are a man of war, and in you there is no defeat. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, thank you for those who have joined this great physician hour. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. I pray that the power of God will continue to overshadow you and your life will continue to be a testimony to the glory of God. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover your testimonies with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you in Jesus' name. The power of God will overshadow your life as you join us. Bow down your heads and let us pray. Father, we thank you for another time before you. Father, lay your hands upon our lives. Am I touched by the power of the Holy Ghost? Speak to us by your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We're looking at holiness and the tongue. Holiness and the tongue. I'd like you to look at these powerful scriptures. James chapter 1 verse 26. James 1 26. If any man among you seem to be religious, and brilliant not his tongue, but deceive his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Holiness and the tongue. In 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 10, he said, For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil, and his lips that they speak no guy. And in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29, Remember, we're talking about holiness and the tongue. Ephesians 4.29 Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of a divine, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36 to 37. Say, but I say unto you, that every Hebrew word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Your words will justify you, your words will condemn you. This is a very, very serious matter. Holiness and the tongue. In Proverbs chapter 15 verse 4, it says, a wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a bridge in the spirit. I hope you are following these very interesting scriptures. In the same Proverbs chapter 10 verse 19, it says this, In the multitude of words, they are wanted not sin, but he that refrained his lips is wise. He that refrained his lips is wise. When you talk too much and you have mouth diarrhea, you shall commit sin, whether you like it or not. Proverbs 29, 20. He says this, says thou a man that is hasty in his words, there is more hope of a fool than of him. Listen, beloved. The life God planned for his people is described by Isaiah as the way of holiness. The way of holiness. In Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8, an highway shall be there, and a the way, it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. But it shall be for those, the wayfaring men, though fools shall not err therein. Though fools shall not err therein. Many have the wrong ideas about holiness. Some think holiness is sad look. Holiness is melancholy. Some think holiness is absolute seriousness. Some think holiness is being extremely strict. Some think holiness is being weak. Some think holiness is generally gentle and avoiding trouble. Listen, beloved. The only men of the Bible do not fit these self-conceived descriptions. <laughs> In fact, instead of being weak and skinny, they are often tough like Elijah. They are often tough like John the Baptist. They are often tough like our Lord Jesus Christ. Instead of being miserable, they are full of joy like Paul. 
whose happiness was so deep, whose happiness was so deep <laughs> that it could sink inside a prison house. Holiness, when rightly understood, is an attractive quality, not something forbidden or inhuman. It's attractive. Holy men of God have always been loving. They are compassionate, loving people, happy people, not because they want to be qualified for the next life and then because of that disqualify themselves from the present one. They don't behave like that. The three pillars of faith, the three pillars of faith has been replaced with other things. What are these three pillars of faith? But one is word of God. Many don't read the Bible anymore. They just believe in Revelation. They forgot not the Bible. Prayer. Many don't like prayers. They prefer entertainment. They prefer doing other things. They prefer comedy shows. Holy Spirit. Many don't bother to get close to the Holy Spirit. These three pillars of faith have been so boom, bad big downwards these days. And many church members don't have a clear idea of what is happening. The word of God, prayer, and the Holy Spirit have been pushed to the background. And people just come to church, they say prayers, they are not serious with the prayers they are saying. Some are going to church just for ceremonial purposes. They don't know that it's a serious matter. Say, pity, beloved, we have taken very lightly what God has not taken lightly. God sent his son to die. And we are taking that very lightly. They nailed his hands to the cross. They punished him on that cross. All because of us. And we've taken it very lightly. Many are even crawling and they claim to be walking. Listen, brother. The Bible is a book of holiness. Remove holiness from the Bible and there will be very little left. I pray that you key yourself into this principle of holiness in the name of Jesus. You may ask, what is holiness? Holiness is total submission of your body, soul, and spirit to the Lord. Holiness is allowing God to perfect the work of grace in your life. Holiness is giving God quality, not quantity. It is an insult for you to want to share yourself with God. God does not share. God cannot share you with your malice, with your fight, with your adultery. You need to become serious. That's why Revelation 3 tells us that lukewarmness is hated by God. God wants you to be either cold or hot. You can't be cold today or hot tomorrow. You must pick one. The Bible is not a book that repeats so many things. But when the Bible begins to emphasize a thing, then it is a very, very important information. It's not often the scripture repeats things, but once it's repeated, you know it's a serious matter. Leviticus 11.45 says, For I am the Lord that bringeth you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. You shall be holy, for I am holy. In 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 16, it is a command, not uh, an advice. 1 Peter 1 16, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14, Bible says, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. You can see other things, but it says, without that holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Do you want to see the Lord? <laughs> then you must be holy. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 tells us, He's asking us to be like our Father. Say, be ye therefore perfect, even as a father which is in heaven is perfect. And in 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 15, he said, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. 2 Corinthians 13.11 2 Corinthians 13.11 Ask this to say, so finally, brethren, be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one man, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Amen. In Isaiah chapter 52 verse 11, 
Isaiah chapter 52, verse 11. It made this cry, a holy cry. Depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from thence. Touch no unclean thing. Go ye out of the midst of her. Be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Lord. Be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Lord. God does not command the impossible. So he said, those who bear the vessels of the Lord, they should be clean. This is a very, very serious situation. A very, very serious matter. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3, so for this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye shall abstain from fornication. First Thessalonians 4, 7, for God has not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. Hear what God said about his worship. I want to worship God, Psalm 29, verse 2. Psalm 29, verse 2. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Psalm 93, verse 5. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thy house, O Lord, forever. Holiness becometh thy house, O Lord, forever. A Christian has to fight four things in order to be holy. How are you fearing in this battle? Four things a believer needs to fight in order to be holy. The first thing to fight is the world. But the Bible says, be of good cheer. He has overcome the world. In John 16, 33. So this says, I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So we have a promise for fighting the world. That's the first thing we need to contest with. The school of holiness. Number two, is the devil and his demons. Although they have been defeated, and although they have defeated many, the Bible says in James chapter 4 verse 7, submit yourselves. Therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Receive the devil and he will flee from you. Ephesians 4.27 says, Neither give place to the devil. Don't give place to the devil. Although they have overcome many, the devil has placed all kinds of sicknesses, disease, and all kinds of things on many people. We need to fight them. And God has given us power to defeat them. The third thing we need to contest with is sin. We have the promise of Christ in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Matthew 1, 21 said, And she shall bring forth a son, and I shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. He shall save his people from their sins. And in Romans 6, 14, it says this, very powerful scripture, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. The fourth entity you need to fight is the flesh. That of the flesh, you will have to do by yourself. Paul said, we have no confidence in the flesh. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, this is a very important scripture. Say, but I, I keep my body and bring it under subjection. He is doing it. Not that he's begging God to come and do it, or asking the Holy Spirit to do it for him. So I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Lest by any means, when I preach to others, I myself should be a castaway. The flesh control is the problem of many believers today. The flesh control is a serious problem. And this is where the tongue is coming in. If you cannot control your tongue, it's a very serious problem indeed. I pray that the Almighty will lay his hands upon you as you are listening to this, and that you will take a decision, a solid decision, to know what God wants you to do in your life. A man arrived in heaven, and they showed him the breakdown of how he lived his life on earth. Sleep, 23 years. 
work 16 years, watching TV, eight years, eating, six years, travel, six years, leisure, four and a half years, illness, four years, dressing, two years, religion, six months. This is what they confronted him with. So he found that he has come to waste his time on earth. I pray that the Almighty will arise and help all of you in the name of Jesus and every agenda of darkness to make you an enemy of heaven, to make you an enemy of God. The heavens will disgrace them in the name of Jesus. And the power of God will overshadow you mightily in the name of Jesus. The holy man is the one who can rule his tongue and is rooted and grounded in faith and knowledge of the Son of God. The influence of the tongue is so high that the Holy Spirit desires to use it. Listen, beloved, if you can control your tongue, you can tame other parts of the body. This is why these five things have to be kept in mind. One, of whom you are speaking. Two, to whom you are speaking. Three, how you speak. Four, when you speak. Five, where you speak. Now check each in turn. Check it very well. The tongue is a powerful instrument, very powerful, that must be operated with extreme caution and great care and skill. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Are you careless with your tongue? Then you are going to be careless with all kinds of other things. When a person loses control of his tongue, he loses control of his life. The key, beloved, to a beautiful life is to regulate and control one's conversation. A Christian cannot accomplish much. In the service of the Master, in the service of the Lord, if he does not know how to use his or her tongue, holiness and the tongue. Make a decision, beloved, to tame your tongue. You'll be surprised at the results. You'll be surprised at the breakthroughs you're going to get. You'll be surprised what will happen in your life. In Isaiah chapter 6, from verse 1 to 8, in the year that King Uzziah died, said, I saw the Lord sitting upon the throne. I am lifted up, and his strength filled the temple. This is Isaiah. Above it stood the seraphims, and one had six wings. With two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he did fly. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Isaiah was a palace prophet. All this thing that started seen was when King Uzziah died. It was then his eyes got open. May our eyes be open in the name of Jesus. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me for I'm undone. Why is he undone? Because I'm a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. So unclean lips can make a man to be undone. Oh, so for my eyes I've seen the king, the Lord of hosts. It is time for us to begin to examine our tongues. It's time for us to begin to monitor what we're saying. It's time for us to begin to allow the Holy Spirit in us to get it to get before we begin to speak. Then through one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which has taken from the tongues from off the altar, they took a hot live coal from the altar. It was so hot, the angel asked to take it with the tongues from off the altar. Where is the live coal of fire going? He laid it upon my mouth. Again, mouth, mouth. 
Say, no, this has touched thy lips. Thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord say, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. Here am I, send me. Here am I, send me. This passage reveals the holiness of God and the impact it can make on a person's life. This passage reveals the greatest problem of many church goers. The greatest problem. They are yet to find God because of the uncleanness of their mouth. So one thing we all need and which most of us lack is to be touched by God's fire in our mouth. We all need to experience God's fire that will control us, that will make our mouth an instrument of God instead of an instrument of the devil. When Isaiah's son met the fire of God, his life underwent a dramatic change. When the power of God struck him, it left him as good as dead. The touch burns the rubbish and deathness out of him. Tongue of fire came upon his lips. His unclean lips were cleansed. Only the merciful touch of danger saved him. If not for that touch, it would have been finished. Are you listening to me now? You need to begin to reassess how your tongue is putting you into trouble. How your tongue is polluting your life. How your tongue is making sure you don't live holy. The reason many bondages remain in place and are still in place and many go all over the place seeking for deliverers is because that fire of God has not touched you yet. Those who have been touched by that fire, whose tongues have been touched by the fire of God, they are completely different human beings. I'm praying that the anointing of God will touch your life. We need that baptism of fire upon our tongue so that our tongue can come under the control of the Holy Spirit so that that fire can purge and cleanse us and get rid of all the rubbish and get rid of anything that is ungodly in our lives. I said I am undone, but I'm a man of unclean lips and I dwell in the midst of people with unclean lips. I dwell in the middle of people with unclean lips. May our tongue receive the fire of God. May the purging fire of the Holy Ghost fall upon us. May the baptism of fire fall upon all of us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any agenda of darkness to use your tongue against you, I command that agenda to scatter in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost do his purging in your life. Let him start with your tongue. You must make up your mind that I want to live a holy life. I want my tongue to be under his control. We must have a fresh encounter with Jesus so that we will be the kind of instrument that he wants us to be. We must possess tongues of fire, not tongues of curses, not tongues of gossip. Our tongues have to be on fire for God so that we can be the holy kind of people God wants us to be. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Fire of God. Purge my tongue in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, purge my tongue in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, purge my tongue in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, purge my tongue in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, purge my tongue in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, purge my tongue in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, purge my tongue in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers are signed to make my tongue kill me. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to make my tongue to kill me. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to make my tongue to kill me. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to make my tongue to kill me. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, O oh, heavens arise and make me your battle axe. 
In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise and make your battle axe. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise and make your battle axe. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise and make your battle axe. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise and make your battle axe. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise and make your battle axe. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now sing this song loud and clear. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Victory, we are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. The rock that never fails. I'm hiding in you. I'm hiding in you. In you there is power. The rock that never fails. I'm hiding in you. I'm hiding in you. In you there is power, the rock that never fails. I'm hiding in you. I'm hiding in you. In you there is power. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us a victory again and again. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us a victory again and again. I am going to pray for some specific cases now. And if you are involved in any of these cases, or something here concerns you. Let your amen roar like thunder as I pray. Ma kapotali le karibo kayabo shanta. Father, I'm praying for anyone suffering from profitless hard work. You work hard, but the enemy steals your labor. Right there where you are, any power responsible for this problem. I command it to release you in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. Any arrow they have fired into your body, any arrow that is currently in your brain, I command them to come out by fire. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. In the name of Jesus, be delivered from every power and activity of profitless hard work in the name of Jesus. A sevenfold amen, 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 amen. Father, I'm praying for those who are believing God for marital breakthroughs. Masika le kayabo shanda. Every power sitting on your marital breakthrough. I command them to be disgraced in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus shall nullify any evil plan against a marital life. In the name of Jesus, every marriage blocker sending information to the evidence against your marital life, I command them to expire. I command them to expire. I command them to expire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying for those who are suffering from constant witchcraft attacks. When they sleep, they, are, they get attacked. Physically, they get attacked. Right there where you are, every arrow of witchcraft fired against you. I command the arrows uh, to go back to the senders, 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 to go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus, uh, every power hiding in order to afflict you. I command them to be disgraced in the name of Jesus. The Lord God of Israel shall arise and consume every altar of witchcraft 
that is suspending the agenda of heaven for your sake in the name of Jesus and those powers going from altar to altar coven to coven, shrine to shrine against you, I command them to be disgraced in the name of Jesus a sevenfold amen, amen amen, amen amen, amen, amen amen I'm praying for all those who have been harassed troubled, caged and pursued by the spirit of death and hell I decree upon your life eh, that you shall not die but live eh, to declare the works of Christ. Eh. Every power assigned to kill you shall kill themselves eh. in the mighty name of Jesus. You the spirit of death and hell, I bind you and I cast you out. 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 I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. For death and hell are cast into the lake of fire. So I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus, and I decree upon your life uh, that any power that wants to use frustration, delay, stagnancy to kill you shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Uh, and any power sent to celebrate problems in your life, uh, I command the powers to run mad and die. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and any power that wants you to make mistakes uh, that will result in untimely death, uh, I command the powers to be disgraced in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I am going to pray for 10 groups of people now. Wherever you are, let your amen be dynamic as we pray. And let your amen roar like thunder. There are people connected to this program. You have been suffering from strange vomiting. The Lord will deliver you right now. You have strange deposits in your body. Deposits are jump out right now as I pray. You have been bleeding since you gave birth to that baby. That bleeding shall stop immediately in the name of Jesus. The strangers that are in your body shall be flushed out from your system by the power in the blood of Jesus. The potency captured by witchcraft shall be released. That blood disease shall receive the healing power of God. Because as I was shouting amen, that blood disease shall disappear from your body. Now you that have been having strange dreams, strange dreams that scare you, as you are saying amen to these prayers, uh, the effect, the consequences of those strange dreams have been cancelled in the name of Jesus. Uh, you that you are a firstborn, you have been having failure as a firstborn, that yoke upon your life shall be broken as you pray. You that you have been having dangerous dream attacks, uh, the dream attacks shall be cancelled and there are consequences nullified as I prayed now. All the clinical prophecy against you, that person over there, shall be cancelled as I pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you because it is written that oppression shall be far away from your children. Father, I thank you because it is written that no weapon formed against your children shall prosper. Father, I thank you because it is written that you yourself bore our infirmities and took away our sicknesses. All these cases that you are brought up now, right there where they are, in the name which is above all names, I command them to receive their deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. 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 Receive your deliverance, receive your healing, 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 receive your deliverance, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are, let the electric current of the Holy Ghost begin to flow from the top of your head to the sole of the feet. I command that electric fire, electric current of the Holy Ghost that melts away infirmity to begin to flow from the top of the head to the sole of the feet, from the top of the head to the soles of the feet, from the top of the head to the of the feet from the top of the head to the source of the feet from the top of the head to the source of the feet from the top of the head to the source of the feet from the top of the head to the source of the feet from the top of the head to the source of the feet from the top of the head to the source of the feet in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God flow upon your body, soul, and spirit to the glory of the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, receive the touch of the fire. Receive the touch of deliverance. Receive the touch of power. Receive the touch of deliverance. Receive the touch of power. Receive the touch of deliverance. In the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you for the healing power. Thank you for the deliverance power. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To you, Father, be the glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Right there where you are, I want you to lay one hand on your head, the other one on your belly button. And with a loud voice, I want you to shout the blood of Jesus. Shout it louder than anyone around you. Shout the blood of Jesus 21 times. As you keep shouting it, as you are shouting it, you feel the fire of God flowing through your body. You feel the power of God flowing through your body. You feel the cleansing power of that blood circulating through your body system. As you shout it, your stubborn enemies shall be disgraced. Get yourself ready. 21 reckless and violent time. Shout the blood of Jesus. Let's go. Blood of Jesus. 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 Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's take our Bibles. We are looking at 